Well, as Cody said, we're going to talk about the Resilience Roller Coaster. Who is feeling like of all the rides you've been on in your life, this is one you want off? Don't worry, you'll bounce back. The very notion of change is that what was no longer exists. So everything we do to try to bounce back is wasted time on figuring out how to effectively move forward. And we just get caught up in this vortex of destructive stress and we don't even know that it's a problem. <laughs> it's like, that's just how it is. But there is a better, less stressful way to do it. When you take back your weekends, the idea is I want you to have the choice. I want you to feel so in flow when you're working that you're completely focused and you're harnessing good stress. And I'm going to share with you exactly what that means in a little bit. That you have a systematic way to approach that sensation, to come out of that feeling of overwhelm, to minimize the destructive stress. And one of the leaders started to cry. And he said, I am so scared that I am going to miss my kid's childhood. I work every Saturday and Sunday to get caught up and it's still not enough. And honestly, the only option I have right now is if I can't fix this, I've got to quit my job. And in that moment I said, well then it's time to take back your weekends. And he's like, okay. And using the co concepts that I'm going to share with you today, he actually did just that. And so what we want to figure out is how do I not react in a stressful way to the things that are going on? I'm like, oh, wow, okay, so what's going on? She goes, look, three weeks ago, head office sent down a directive for this new reporting system, and, uh, you know, they just don't get it. Nobody's going to read these reports anyway. They don't know what I'm going through on the ground. They don't know how busy my life is. And, you know, maybe it's time for me to start looking for a new job. I went... Oh, wow, okay, this is a big deal. Tell me about this report. Like, how long is it going to take you? And she like, leans back in her chair. She's like, 15 minutes. <laughs> and I'm like, 15 minutes? Uh, and you've spent three weeks upset at your company over a 15-minute task. Have you ever heard of a stress test? Essentially what it is, is that the, here are all these things that can be happening to you. Here's all the suckage that could be happening in your life. And each of them is going to get a numerical value. So I wrote down everything that went on, like the people who had died, uh, the injuries, the surgery, the doctor's appointments, the move, the financial troubles, all of that piece of the puzzle that I was facing back then. And when I tallied it all up, thinking back to that time, my score was 734. Now, the legend said, if you have a score over 330, seek professional help immediately. Now, I don't tell that story to be dramatic. I tell that story to point out that our society's approach to the word stress is inherently flawed. And no matter what adversity you're facing right now, whatever those obstacles are, whatever those challenges are, this problem solving framework, just go ahead and put that on there. Get a compassionately curious so that you can find your way to stress less while doing more and being happier.